Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. Today, we're here to talk about conversion. And the truth. That's right. So, we, we've done a, a few, we've done some of our, uh, we've done some of our stories on, on our, how we became the Catholics that we are today. How we became the fine, upstanding Catholics we are today. But, but at the same time... <laughs> oh, no, I won't cut. <laughs> the Lord is merciful. But, you know... Conversion stories are always the fun ones to listen to. Mm -hmm. Because every one of us has undergone one. Even gooder Catholics like Jess have undergone some kind of conversion. Even if they don't acknowledge it. <laughs> She's a very private person. We're going to respect her privacy. And continue to make fun of her as a private person. Uh-huh. Okay. But <laughs> I believe this is, you know, going towards something. Yes. Yes. So, there is a moment in everyone's conversion when the Lord has to break through. Yep, they've they've everybody has to some extent has been living under a uh, a untruth or or in some cases a lie or a partial truth maybe, but but they've been living. Th th there's been something that's been separating them from the truth, and God has had to confront them with that truth so that they could have their moment of conversion. Now, I firmly believe. That the Lord is precisely as subtle as we allow him to be. Yeah. And, and sometimes it might be a very subtle moment. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be like, like, like for a few uh, f first century fishermen who were sitting on a boat and God just came along and said, hey, guys, you follow me. Come with me. Then again, you might be like a, uh, a, a, a certain... Uh, Certain first century Pharisee. Certain first century Pharisee who's on his way to go persecute some Christians and he's struck blind <laughs> for three days. Now, Mike and I have had an opportunity to hear a number of conversion stories through various uh, ministries that we've been involved in. And one of the things that we keep hearing about from various people, because sometimes uh, they just don't let God be all that subtle in their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that tends to come up a lot is... Especially because these are mostly men's groups. Yeah, they're mostly men's group. So Guys who are going imagery. about living their lives the way that men do. And, and then just all of a sudden, whack, whack. They got whacked in the face with the truth. And surprisingly, a large number of people refer to that as the two by four of truth. This is not just one guy, and they're not just all copying each other. No. More than one man has independently used that imagery of the two by four of truth. Yeah, apparently, it feels like getting hit by a two by four. God, they were going, they were going, going about their lives, normal day to day, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden, God or one of His angels came along with a metaphorical, uh, supernatural two by four, and just smacked them right across the face because everything wasn't fine. But they were manifesting, re manifestly refusing to listen to him. Yep. So he had to smack him. So we got to thinking about that, and we got to talking about that, and we started asking ourselves the question, what would a two-by-four truth look like? Because ours is a sacramental faith. Mm -hmm. The physical things matter. The Lord came in the flesh. The Lord often laid on hands to heal, or people had to touch his clothing. Yeah. He gives us his very body and blood and soul and divinity to eat and drink. The physical matters. So how could we represent physically this metaphorical two-by-four of truth? This supernatural reality that is the two-by-four of truth. Mm -hmm. Well, we've figured out a way to do it. Fortunately, Nate is quite handy with, with some tools and some wood. So feel free, this, ladies and gentlemen, as, as you may have seen it in the background of, uh, of some of our uh, episodes, is the 2 by 4 of truth. Behold the wood of the 2 by 4 of truth. Yes. Now, on, on the front side, it says truth. On both of the edges, it says in Latin, and then again in Greek, truth. And, and, and then we, of course, have a passage from John where Jesus testifies that he is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He's not a truth. He is the, the truth. truth. 
Now, you might have seen this on set for some time now because we've made this yeah, I actually, about a year and a half ago. COVID. Yeah, COVID kind of got in the way of some things. We, we were going to have a uh, episode uh, about a year ago now uh, with Deacon Ken where we were mm -hmm. actually going to get him to come on the show and bless this. But unfortunately, due to COVID, the episode got got preempted mm -hmm. uh and, and so we weren't able to do it and, and because of continuing covid restrictions we haven't had a chance to get deacon ken over here with us but we, 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 we promised we would not use it as a, a actual weapon only no. a metaphysical one i'm not wielding <laughs> against anyone i'm just checking out the balance it's yeah. pretty good balance mm -hmm. it's got pretty good get a pretty good balance it's this is a this is a thing that was if if you were going about your life uh, in ignorance, and God sent one of His angels along with this mm -hmm. to uh, it's like the cricket to, to, to 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 wake you up. It would it would get the job done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as I was saying, we had intended to bring Deacon Ken on uh, to have an episode about blessings, which we're still planning on getting to. And during that episode, we were going to have him bless the two by four of truth, that those who gaze upon it, as it is not going to be used as a weapon or a, a, a inflictor of violence. This object has been blessed. It would be sacrilegious to use it for violence. That is correct. Uh, we did actually get an opportunity uh, recently to spend a little time with Deacon Ken and to uh, give him his uh, first experience of the two by four of truth and, and ask him if he could go and bless this prop that it may Bless you. So, in classic late night talk show form, let's go to the clip. Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Mike, and this is the blessing of the 2x4 of truth. I'm Deacon Ken, and this is the blessing of the 2x4 of truth. <laughs> I'm not saying my name. No, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting you would. I figured since this is probably going to go like in the middle of another video, we, we wouldn't so necessarily can. have the whole intro. Heavenly Father, I ask that you send your spirit upon this reminder of your truth, and I ask that you bless it, you bless all who look upon it, so that they know that you are the source of all truth. We ask you send your spirit upon this, upon all those who uh, look upon this two by four. As, uh, as a reminder of how much you love them and how truthful you are and how you are the source of all truth. Uh, may you bless this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, now you can see we, we, we have mm. the 2 by 4 of truth. We've, we've finally made good on this plan of ours to, to bring this into our show, to make it a, a regular prop. Blessed uh, by a real deacon. And it has been blessed. So technically now it is a, a sacramental. It, it does not have any power of its own. But hopefully through the, the blessings that have been bestowed upon it and the truth that it represents, you folks, by watching our episodes and, and, and seeing it, may be reminded of that truth and those blessings. And it may be uh, efficacious in, in, in your walk to becoming the Catholic, the Holy One, that you were intended to be. Or, at the very least, it may make you think, what's the weirdest thing you can get a, a priest or, or deacon to bless? <laughs> I mean... What, what, we got we got this blessed. Can yeah. you beat that? <laughs> and, and on the notion of what's the weirdest thing you can get blessed, and what what good are, what, what do blessings do, and, 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 other question, and other blessing questions like that, Stay tuned to the Popish Plot because we are working on getting our episode with Deacon Ken on blessings in sometime this year. By hook or by crook, it'll get done. Yep. I mean, unfortunately, we won't have good lighting to do like a bonfire because as one of the two ways to get rid of a, a broken, blessed item is to burn it. That would be super cool if we could have like everyone's, you know, broken rosaries bonfire. <laughs> Why can't we do that? Because the lighting's bad. It, the viewers won't be able to see anything. It'll just be the fire. It'll be another clip. It'll be great. Uh -huh. we, 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 <laughs> we, 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 we can figure something out. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. So go down below and leave us a note in the comments as to what you think would be the weirdest object to get blessed. 
It, either the weirdest thing you've ever heard of being blessed or the weirdest thing you can think of to be blessed. Yeah. And if you are someone from our parish that works in the band, the guitar does not count as the weirdest thing. No. <laughs> it's actually not that weird. Nate made this with his own hands. This is weirder. <laughs> yep. While you're down there in the comment section, make sure you click the subscribe button, the bell next to it to get notified of the, ne of the next episode yep. to come out. Ring that bell. Yep, ring that bell. Uh, hit the like button because... It, it, it's because it's the two it's by four a visual truth. representation of a metaphor. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we actually made a two by four of truth. How can you not like that? <laughs> and until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. Share, Share that, that love. love. Alleluia. 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 Hey, everybody, just want to remind you to support Project YM and your favorite YouTube channel, The Popish Plot. And save yourself 10% off your favorite Catholic Bone Co. products. By shopping at Catholic Balm Co. That is CatholicBalm.co and using the code PLOT2021 at your checkout to get that 10% off. <laughs>